Hello everyone, Chris McCulloch from the New South Wales Landcare Program here again. Today, a quick walkthrough, the financial reporting template for the 2019-2020 reporting period. This reporting is due in July 2020. If you've got any issues as you complete this reporting, please let us know. Get in touch with either myself or someone from the program and we can help you resolve any of these problems. This so reporting probably needs to be done by a representative of each host organization and ideally someone who's in touch with some of the financial management of either the organization itself or at the very least the program. You'll see that this year we're using a Microsoft Excel uh, workbook to facilitate the reporting. Hopefully that makes it easy for everybody to use. If you have any issues with using Excel, please let us know and we'll work through those on a case-by-case -case basis. First thing you'll see here is we just want some simple information about income and expenditure across the program. Now, this is based on you as a host organization, your funding agreement. If you have multiple coordinators, that's okay. These all roll up into uh, one set of answers, again, against your funding agreement for participating in the New South Wales Landcare Program. One of the key things you'll notice is there's four tabs in this template, one for each financial year. This year, you only need to complete the 1920 tab. And what we'll do is we'll keep using the same template over the four years of the program. That'll give us the capacity to keep track of how that budget's rolling out over the years, rather than ending up with four different documents that don't link up. One of the key first sections that we ask you to complete is the contact details tab. That helps us make sure that we know who is involved in this program, who we're talking about. Has some information there for coordinators as well. If you run out of space, please just copy and paste these bottom sections and you can add in some room for more coordinators. We ask that if you've got any comments to help uh, put a little bit of story behind the, in, uh, the income or the expenditure, you add those in there. If you've got any others, you should be able to enter those details as well. Now, one of the things you'll note is that Many of the cells in the template are locked, except for the areas where we need you to put some data. I want you to identify any risks you might have to either under or overspends or cash flow. Please put that in here. This is not a judgment. This is for us to be able to see if we can come in and help make sure that financials of this program are not a barrier. You'll see that many of the cells auto calculate from the information above. This includes the components of carry forward. If you have an underspend for each year, we'll calculate for you what we need to carry forward into the next period. And it also breaks that out in terms of the professional development component, if you receive funding for that, and if you receive funding to manage uh, on behalf of regional community of practice component. We do ask that you contribute some information about any leveraged value or non specifically non-financial resources that your coordinator might receive, things like office space, equipment, including phone. If you can put a financial value on that, that's fantastic. And there's room here to add any of their information. We then need you to hit the date submitted line over here and let us know who is submitting this. And once you do that, save it and email it through to the landcare.admin at lls.nsw.gov.au email address and uh, we'll add it to your reporting. If you've got any questions as you go through the uh, financial reporting template, please let us know. Otherwise, good luck, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.